Hello friends, welcome to another wonderful time in God's presence. My name is Mr. Solomon and today we'll all be sharing our experiences about God and all he has done for us. It's super cool to see you all again after such a long time and I'm super excited to be with you again. Now today we are going to be looking at um, how to pray and um, we all know that for this month we'll be looking at prayers. Last week we talked about what prayer really is and then we all know that prayer is, is, a, is you communicating with God. And you know communication is a two-way thing. It's not just one person talking and then there's no feedback from the other. So when you open your mouth to pray to God, be sure to know that there will be a response from God. So when we pray, definitely God hears us and then answers us. But at the same time, we should also be prepared to hear from God and know what his plans are for us. Because in Jeremiah 29, 11, he says plan, he has good plan for us and he thinks he, his thoughts towards us are always amazing thoughts. Thoughts of good, talk, thoughts of um, beautiful things for us. So when we pray to him, we bring forth his thoughts into our lives. Now, we all need to um, cultivate this attitude of always hearing from God and then waiting for him to respond to us. We should not just ask and ask and ask. We should also take our time to hear from him. And then you'll see how beautiful our lives would be. But before we continue, let's take some time out to pray. Now, I need you all to close your eyes and then just focus on God. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father, for this beautiful, wonderful time in your presence. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for, bringing, for sending your son to die for our sins and bringing us salvation. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for our schools. Thank you for our teachers. Thank you for our friends our family members, our siblings. Thank you for always being there for us. Thank you for protection. Thank you for never letting us down. In times of troubles, you've stood, you've stood for us. In times of pain, you've healed us. Lord God Almighty, as we come together again this Sunday to do your will, Father, speak to us, help us to understand, and let us have a beautiful, wonderful time in your presence, doing your will every day of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And today's topic is, how should we pray? I repeat it again, how should we pray? Now, before we continue, I need you all to put on your dancing shoes, you know, put a smile on your face and be ready to shake your bodies as we take this break to go for our praise and worship. And when we come back, we'll continue with our lesson for today.
come back. All we all had the a wonderful time dancing and praising God and shaking our bodies unto Him. Now we continue with our lesson for today. How should we pray? Now it, it, it doesn't really matter how you position your body or how you say the words out. You just need to say something to God. All you just need to do in your own language, in your own turn, you just need to say something to God. If you feel bad, you feel depressed about something, you need help so badly, all you just need to do is to open your mouth and talk to God. Well, some people love to put clap their hands together like this. Some will prefer kneeling on the on the floor. Some prefer lying down on the on the bed, on the ground, on the couch. Some prefer to just stand. Some prefer to bend their heads. You know, whatever way, whatever manner you feel is comfortable, it's comfortable for you to pray to God. Take that particular position and pray. You could be walking on the road and then, yeah, you can be praying. It's still okay. God hears us. He listens to our hearts, not just what we say unto Him and then how we present ourselves before Him. All God wants to hear is what we're saying deep from our hearts. And that's what is most important. And so when we come to God boldly, come to the throne of grace boldly and ask Him anything, He's willing. He's always ready to hear us and to answer our prayers. So it's, it's not, it's, it, should, it shouldn't be conventional for you to take a particular pos position to pray. All you just need to do is say it out from your heart. You, sometimes you may, you may not even need to say the words out. Your thoughts alone can be heard clearly by God. So all you need to do is to have a communication with God. And when you do that often, you see things change in your life. Now, um, Jesus, when he was alive, he gave us, when he was on earth, he actually did um, like an example of how we should pray to God using the Lord's Prayer as a sample. Now, the Lord's Prayer actually help, it helps us to, um, it's a guide to how we should pray unto God. Yeah, it's good to, to also uh, pray the, the Lord's Prayer, but at the same time, you can also use it to present your needs, to present your happiness, to present your thanksgiving towards God. And then that will definitely build your prayer life. As children, we need to pray all the time. You know why? God hears the prayers of children faster than that of adults because we are still very innocent. Children are still very innocent. And yeah, we, we, we say things out of love. As children, we, we communicate our feelings so, so well to one another and to God. And so he hears us first. You know, sometimes as adults, you can, adults can be saying something else and then they really mean something else in their hearts. But for you children, it's usual, it's always heartfelt when you open your mouth to say something. And so God wants that sincerity. God loves that genuineness. God loves that, that unending faith, unwavering faith that you all have towards him. And so when you say words of prayers towards him, to him, is always ready at all time to answer. And so we'll quickly go through a sample that Jesus um, actually um, gave to us to guide us in prayers. And that will be taken using the King James Version. That will be taken from Matthew chapter 6, from 9 to 13. And that's where we have our Lord's Prayer. I repeat it again. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 to 13. And it says, After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And so quickly, we are going to look at this Bible text and see how we can actually pray effectively unto God. Now, we'll break down this Bible verse into four different parts. And the first part is, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now, whenever you're starting to pray, all you need to do is glorify God first. You need to thank God. You need to um, adore him. You need to make him know that you love him so, so much and he's everything to you. You need to just say beautiful, nice things unto him. Because here, yeah, when you come to the presence of your father, 
you need to you need to smile all the time and then let him know that you're happy to see him you're happy to be in it, to be around him you love him so so much and then you feel safe and protected when you're around him and that actually puts god in the mood you know when you praise your your earthly father he's super happy to have you around talk more when you praise god in heaven he's definitely going to respond to any request you ask of him and then when you're through doing that you go straight to the second part of our lost prayer which says your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven now for things to manifest in your life you will definitely need god's presence on earth so when you're praying unto god let him know that you really want him to be around you right here on earth and with that and for that to happen the presence of the holy spirit will definitely be around for you and then when you pray with the presence of the holy spirit it gives you more more this gives you more energy to pray and also create an environment a beautiful environment for your prayers to be answered so when god's will is done on earth then be sure that everything you ask everything you put in mind to do will definitely come to be and then the third part is give us this day our daily bread now our daily bread here is not we're not just talking about the food we need to eat we're not just talking about water we're not just talking about uh, the rice and beans or whatever food you're going to eat we're talking about our needs we're talking about what we need mostly in our lives we're talking about provisions we are talking about supplication we're talking about all that we need to be effective on earth we are talking about all that we have to be all that we have all that we need to be better as humans and so when we come to his presence we need to ask god boldly ask him because he's your father and he's willing and ready to answer your prayers straight up so you do not need to be scared or that oh god may not answer me because i've done something bad no 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 come straight in his presence and ask boldly ask for forgiveness ask for 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 salvation he's ready he wants us all to himself our god is a jealous god and so when we ask him he's definitely going to answer us so that we do not have to move to the world for 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 responses so when we come to him boldly asking for our daily bread asking for our needs our provisions be sure that god will answer your prayers and then you become better as the day go by all you need to do again is to ask present your needs unto god present your your all that you need unto god let god be the center of your life and let god control everything around you, you need protection god definitely will protect you he will it will cause his angels to come around you and nothing shall, shall nothing shall and can hurt you because the presence of god is around you and you do you need direction do you need peace god is there to give you peace even in the midst of turbulence even in the midst of distractions god can keep you focused and these are serious needs that we we overlook sometimes as children and think oh all that we need is just food, water, let our parents be ready to, take, to drive us to school, to pay our school fees and all that. No, 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 no. We also need a whole lot in our lives as children. We need peace in our lives. We need good friends around us. God can, God will definitely give you good friends that will not lead, lead you astray. Even friends that you can even turn more onto God. So when we pray, we should ask God all that we need and be sure to get a favorable answer from God to supply all your needs and then the last one will be for oh we still have forgive our debts as we also forgive others i mentioned that earlier we need to ask for forgiveness we need to ask god to forgive us our sins we are, we were born sinners and by the blood and by the blood of jesus we are saved so we need to constantly ask god for forgiveness and when god forgives he forgives completely God does not remember our sins. No matter how bad we have sinned against him, God does, once we ask for forgiveness, God does not remember those sins. And so when we pray, we should also make sure that we ask God on a daily basis for forgiveness. Because 
yeah, we see a whole lot, we meet a whole lot of temptations every day. We we face a whole lot of challenges every day, and sometimes we may we may compromise, we may want to delve a bit. You know, God sees all this and he knows we are humans, we are made of flesh. And so he's always ready to and he's always ready to create a provision for us. And in that manner, he forgives us our sins and makes us clean again. The exact time you ask God for forgiveness, that same time God forgives, God forgives you. And so don't be ashamed. Don't think you are the worst person on earth. Don't think you've done things that are abominable. God hears us all and God forgives us all if only we ask him for forgiveness. And then the last part is, and lead us not into temptation or deliver us from evil. God is always ready to protect us. God is always ready to guide us. We just need to keep asking him. The more you ask God for whatever thing you need, he just be sure, just be, just have this assurance that God will answer your prayers. No matter how bad the road is, no matter how rugged, no matter how rough the road is, no matter how, um, no matter the distractions you may face along the road, no matter the challenges, God is sure ready to guide you through the help of the Holy Spirit and then lead you to that path that he wants you to be. At this moment, I just want us to clap our hands again and just say some prayers unto God. Just let him know that you are ready to always pray unto him and as from today on, you will develop a good praying habit when fully well that you now know how to pray, that you are going to put it into use. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, thank you for this moment. Thank you for teaching us today. Thank you for sending forth your Holy Spirit to guide us into what we have learned today. Henceforth, we shall be consistent in doing your will. We shall be consistent in praying unto you and never backslide from it. Father, always put in our hearts to pray, always put in our hearts to come to you to ask for forgiveness of sins and never be ashamed of our past. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. So we'll wrap up this session, we'll wrap up this lesson by quickly going through some questions just to help us remember all that we have done today. And the first one is, uh, and the first one is, will God listen when we pray? Will God listen to us when we pray? I need you to answer it yourself. And the second one is, what kind of plans does God have for us? What kind of plan does God have for us? How can we seek and find God? How can we seek and find God? And again, God wants to give us hope and a what? God wants to give us hope and a what? And then the last one, when we pray, we should pray with what? Should we pray with our hands? Should we pray with our legs? Should we pray with our our minds thinking of something else should we pray with so much distraction around us what how should we pray anytime we are in the presence of God and when you answer this correctly you'll definitely know that you'll start a new journey with God with your prayers it's good to have you all again and at this point I say ciao that bye bye <laughs>